about to hit go live. We're going to have to do that now. Here we go. Thank you to Wanted Man for the follow. Much appreciated. If the music's too loud, let me know. Um, I turned it up a tad because it's uh, ambient instead of anything distracting. So I figure having it in the background might be a little soothing. I don't know. I'm just saying. Um, just a reminder, even though Pride Month was last month, I had somebody comment on that on the forums about the contest that Pride Month was last month. I know Pride Month was last month, but it's not like you can only celebrate Pride in the LGBTQ community one time a year, you know? It's like, who cares? It was last month. Also, I had a family conflict and it was started later in the month, so I wanted to give you people some more time. So just consider it an extension of the awesome. I, I think we can celebrate it no matter what time of year it is. And next year I'll be more prepared because I'll have thought of it, you know, and then I'll be able to do it then. But don't get hung up on that, that kind of thing. Um, just a reminder, it is this Saturday. It's coming up fast. Um, hold on, let me double check. Yeah, it's due Friday. It's... Um, it's coming up this Saturday at my normal stream time, which is at 11 a.m. Eastern. So we're almost there, folks. It's going to be exciting. I'm actually really looking forward to it. And I get to give away lots of good things. Yay, contest. Hello, Evil Bob. Um, I am pretty excited about it because, like, my last contest was so much... It was... It was... I was scared. I was shy. But, um... I was seriously excited about it. it. You know, it was a really, it was a really cheerful thing to see everybody involved and everybody was excited about it too. So streaming potato is me. You should have gotten a message just now from EHT letting you know I was live. We are in Phelan Souls Hunter's Glade. Um, this one is Hall of Hunters. I think it is if I'm not, I'm not positive, but I think it's a guild house because we're, we're down here and we've got everything you could possibly need for a guild house, right? We've got really all the tables. Well, not everything. You do. Uh, let me show you how it works. So you go into live streams and you would hit, after you edit everything and like put in all your information, if you hit go live, it will reload your your UI and send out that information to everyone. So yes, I have to manually trigger it um, by hitting that go live button and re reloading UI. So that's that's it. Do they have this on switches? Oh no. Um, but if you need help setting it up, I'm happy to help. That's one of the few things that I actually understand with EHT these days. Speaking of, I did get a hold of Cardi. Thanks to um, Shutterbug. Shutterbug was awesome enough to flag him down. 646 items out of 700 in here. And here's the rest of the things that I think you would need for a guild house. Uh, certainly the stones, the Munda stones. And then this is a popular thing now, this ethereal well. Some dummies. I am going to bet there's some vampire stuff in here somewhere. Um, hey, piano. So basically, uh, I did talk to him. I said I sent him a message. He got the message. He said he was so so sorry that he hasn't been checking his mail. Um, I believe his mail is possibly still full on NA. I'm not certain, but I did have him check his. Yeah, here's the vampire stuff, the real mail, like his email. And uh, anybody who would have reported a problem to me in the last month or so, I have screenshotted that problem and sent it to him. So I've been on top of that until like oh, a couple days ago when I said I declared bankruptcy because I just, I couldn't keep up anymore. It was, given my health problems and my confusion level, it is really hard for me to know like what I'm doing anymore, even when I keep lists. 
So I, I need him to, to, you know, handle this stuff and get it back to me and then hopefully everybody's problems will get cleared up. But a lot of people, I want to say the biggest complaint I'm hearing from people is they're not seeing effects. Um, and then I think there's some other problems, but I'm having a hard time understanding them all. Um, but there does seem to be a problem with seeing effects. So this is a lovely guild hall. Thank you, Phelan. It's quite beautiful. If I missed anything, I'm sure I have, but I'm a little turned around. I see Sithith over there. You know, I say that with a list because my husband, who grew up with a uh, speech impediment, but took speech classes and actually worked through it, he always jokes around when I bring up Sithis, and he says, Sithis! So, yeah. That better work. If it doesn't work, I'll restart it. It should be open. Let's, let's redo this. Why are you being stupid? <coughs> Excuse me. My, uh, my Streamlabs is not connected. Uh, give me a moment. They may have reset the OAuth, which means I need to deal with that bullshit. So give me a moment while I figure out what's going on with Streamlabs. It may just need to update. Well, I mean, I, I just want you guys to know I'm not picking on anybody with lisps. It's my it's just because it's how my uh, my husband says it in a joking way based on his own speech impediment from childhood. So I, I don't mean to be. It's something about the fact that it's this big, scary, terrifying guy or, or you know, thing, existing thing and having it have such a Okay, yeah, it's got to be the OAuth. Let's try this. All right, so the problems with dashboard. Oh, I can never find the OAuth. It's funny because this is like God getting back at me because um, somebody was asking the other day on Reddit in the Twitch section, uh, why their stuff wouldn't connect and I'm like oh it's probably your O authorization you need to get it redone and they're like what's an O authorization which by the way is not a bad question the problem was is that uh, if you're streaming you should probably have an idea of what that is and you should probably uh, hold on I'm getting the I'm gonna get a new one I can find it and you should probably understand how to go about getting one and I'm not always perfect with that myself there's really nothing wrong with you doing that not understanding it but as a as a streamer it's it's annoying because it re especially with um, Streamlabs for whatever reason it resets on its own so you'll be there for like, it'll be working fine for two months and then all of a sudden it won't anymore. And it's like, uh, it doesn't even know, it doesn't even uh, inform you. It doesn't tell you anything. Here it is, OAuth token. All right, connect. Yes. OAuth token, token invalid, shocking. I am shocked, I tells you. I'm okay, Maldron, how are you? Uh, let me get my password, because I never remember. Or, uh... Oh, wait. Stubbity doom. All right, waiting for my token. Because nothing's ever easy. All right, token. If you ever wondered what the most annoying bit about um, streaming is, this is high on the list. All right, authorize. Yes. Generate token. All right. Yes, you you did that part. Connect. Okay. What 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 what? 
this is really annoying. Oh, it's more safe for sure, but... Annoying. Oop! Oh my goodness! Map! Map! How are you? Thank you! Thank you so much for the raid! That is so sweet of you! I am, uh, trying to get logged in to my stupid... <laughs> my stupid, uh, Twitch bot. You know, my O authorization uh, did a stupid thing. All right. Hold on. They can't verify my... my. Yeah, a little late. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Hold on a second. I'm trying to figure out this so you can all enter this contest before I... I don't want you to miss out on a chance for uh, a lot of money. So let's go to Huntresses while we're waiting. And then my Twitch code. Let me enter this in real quick. I want to open the contest for you, so give me a second. The thing about streaming is, for whatever reason, um, it, there we go. That'll work. Yes. Yay. It resets your, hey, Shutterbug. It resets your O authorization in your um, Streamlabs, Chatbot, and other things. And let me get to open the giveaway. It's 100K. Exactly. But the thing is, Map, I don't understand why it doesn't tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follows, guys. Like, I don't understand why it just does it. It logs you out. So, so all of a sudden, your bot doesn't work. But it doesn't tell you that your bot doesn't work. <laughs> it's like, geez, thanks. Um, you just find out from it not working, which is just great. Guys, thank you so much for the follow. Well, if you win, you win. I'll get sent it to you when you're on. Just remind me. Make sure that you uh, enter it. I'm excited. So I've been watching Matt recently, and I'm I'm a fan. I go I the other day though. Oh my god. So I've been like really out of it because I'm changing medications. And so I was being a little bit confused and I was in Matt's um, stream and I just started talking and, and I said some stupid stuff. Like just realized after I said it that I said something stupid. It's beautiful up here. Look at this view. This is out of Velothi and you can do this too if you want. You can build a little uh, section up to see this beautiful seaside view that you otherwise don't get to see, which is kind of stupid, because this is lovely. And uh, I was so embarrassed, and I just had to say to, I was like, I, please don't pay any attention to me. Please don't, don't listen to me, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even stoned. I was just, I was just confused, because I was, hey, Ari, um, let me give Matt a shout out. Yeah, and I was so out of it, and I was just like, oh my god, I, I hope I didn't offend him. Because I'm like so out of it. Uh, let me give Maldorin one, too. I don't know if you're still streaming, Maldorin, are you? So that was the funny, that was funny. And I deeply appreciate the follows, because what I'm trying to do, look at these beautiful flowers, is I'm trying to get stream team. And the reason why I'm trying to get it is actually pretty simple and very not about my ego. The reason I want to get it is because I can't give anyone on console gifts right now. Look at this beautiful, beautiful setup in here. And they reskinned it. The floor is not the regular floor because over here you would have this basement and they filled it in with all of this stuff. Um, thank you so much. Uh, right now I can't give anything to console um, and it sucks because I feel like I'm leaving them out and they already get screwed because they're all already not getting access to the add-ons and access to, um, it's not as easy for me to visit their homes. They have to send me a video, which by the way, if you guys are on console and you want to sh have me show a video of your homes, 
Please send it to me. I will show it. Thank you so much, Nurk. I will be happy to show anybody on consoles video. Um, it's it's not fair. You guys don't get to show off your homes as much. So I'm all for it. Um, look at this. This is so nice, isn't it? This is Huntress 099. I'm really impressed with this house. Uh, and then I was wondering if they did see... This is the only place you can see the ocean from normally. But they built that little you know, step up, and so it's gorgeous. I really, really like it. It's a good job. Good job. Good job. Um, let me see. Good job. Oh, so I went to this one this morning, so let's check this out. Hey, it's Dado. They basically ignore 90% of the house and built everything in the back, which is kind of nice when you don't like the thing. Um, so yeah, because I give away 100k every day, and that's fine, but it sucks for people who are on console and don't even get to enter. So that's my only reasoning. It's true. I do, I do, I do. I try. Um, I try to tour. I also have been building lately, or trying to, to give you ideas on how to build. I also try to tell you my inspiration process so that you can if it's if it's a thing for you well, once we finish this tour i'll show you what i mean um this is hey it's dado's potentates which i believe is for sale or was for sale i don't remember if this is for sale or not but they did decorate the front but it's the it's the back that's really the showstopper but basically what i say about inspiring yourself for um, going forward with uh, building a house is take one of the smaller ones and imagine you live there <laughs> and take your furnishings and thank you so much Stargold make sure you enter uh, okay Jodes and uh, basically what I suggest is yeah I saw a lucky cat it's, it's tempting so this is what I was talking about with the garden in the back. Also, I hate this person because they have Volendrung and I want it now. Is I go into the house and I just try to figure out what, where would I put things? What would I want in my house? So I'll have like a bed and a, you know maybe a sink and some a fireplace and some kitchen work and whatever. Isn't this beautiful? This person hates Dado, who I don't know, and I'm impressed. Um, with their work, just basically decided, screw it, I like the outside the best, and made this beautiful little garden you can stand in. Oh yeah. You, uh, it's understandable. You know, it's kind of an addiction. Once you get started, it's really easy to keep going. Um, suddenly you want a different kind of house. You want like a garden only or something like that. Hello. Um, so here is this beautiful, beautiful garden. It's like a little heaven. Oh yeah, 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 it's certainly. Um, I'm on an A right now. That doesn't mean I won't tour EU. Um, it just is that typically, oh, look at this idea. Typically I have been on NA recently because EU, for whatever reason, my my choices have been slim. It's like a lot of people really aren't posting as many houses on EU right now, and I'm not sure why. But whatever, you know, I'll do either one. Not a problem. I got stuck in the water. Stuck in the water, stuck in the water. So, yes. I think this is very pretty. I think that they're at 696, so they can't expand much more than this. But it's beautiful. What do you want, cat? Oh, God, they're ridiculously good, Maldoran. They're so painfully good. And then we have uh, Fezzes selling things, and we've got a bar. 
This is another thing that if you want to build in your house, you're like, oh, I want to have some alcohol, maybe a bar. <sighs> Just something that you would want. That's the way to start. Um, oh, you want me to change my face? Okay, Rhodesia. Let me change my face. Uh, should I be something silly? I'll be something silly. being the silliest thing I have. <laughs> My dragonfly. I'm a goofball. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So they took the... <laughs> I'm such a, such a nut job. <laughs> you cannot take yourself seriously around me. <laughs> I'm just dork <laughs> and now we have a ship with lights out there that's like a lighthouse <laughs> it's the cutest little it's the cutest little thing I love my my dragonfly <laughs> so sometimes I make myself pretty but usually I make myself look stupid it's adorable thank you for the follow Katie hey Katie I think you stream don't you I, I guess it says TV after it. I'm kind of a dummy if I don't realize it. Because um, it does just say that right there. Um, let's see. What have I not seen? Let's go to JHL's. Oh, wait. No, I was going to show you what I'm making. The teeth on the dragonfly go round and round. My homes. All right, I'll show you what I'm working on. Hall of Lunar Champion. Um, interior. It's such a cute little thing. It's why I'll never give up um, doing silly things like this. <laughs> I just took a picture of it. That way, I have it for later. Okay. Thank you for tolerating my stupid. <sighs> um, even if I don't end up using it for pretty purposes, I just think it's fun to screw around with. All right, so this was my, uh, initially this was Dark Moons, and then there was another room that was Bright Moons. This is not my best work, so please don't judge me based on this one. But I am working on a roof in here, and I haven't decided whether or not it's staying in here, but that is what I'm working on so far. I'm not sure... Oh, EHT, Essential Housing Tools? I'm not sure what I'm going to do um, about which house to put it in. I thought this one, but I'm not sure. Yeah. It's Essential Housing Tools is in the name of the... Uh, are you on console? I'm sorry. See, that's part of why I'm trying to get a uh, stream team so I can help people on console. Thank you. Um, I just... I built it in SnugPod, and it may end up living in SnugPod, but the point is, is that I kind of wanted to try it in different locations. You're on Stadia? Okay. Thank you. I'm just playing with it right now. Uh, I haven't really... Gotcha, gotcha. I can't live without add-ons, I'll be honest. They make life so much better. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I would be able to play anymore now that I'm used to it. Yeah, it will be a beautiful and expensive roof. It will be. I haven't decided where to put it, but... Yeah, no, I know. That's why I was... You're right, Piano. Which is why I was thinking about... I was trying it in different locations. Uh, snug it may end up being. We'll see. <clears throat> but for now, I wanted to build it here because I wanted to be able to have the room to really... Hold on. We'll do radius. And I'll select it. Break it down. All right. In case you need to select things uh, with EHT, you can select by radius as well. So let's bring this sucker down a little bit so you can see it. All right. And then 
Oh, sounds lovely. Oh, potentates I might, but I don't own a potentates. Uh, yet. Yeah. See, you can see some things are not are not properly done. Like I'm gonna have to fit fiddle with them. But for now, it's it's a start. It's just the way it starts. It's not. It's not gonna be. I don't know. I haven't decided where I want to put it. But let's look at other stuff, right? Oh, let me show you what I'm working on for Loctavian's contest. Uh, Loctavian in Golden Griffin. Loctavian is doing a contest for um, like shrines, temples and shrines. He wants them, they want them in uh, in rooms or apartments. So I have to choose the small one. They don't have a due date yet. Loctavian is another streamer. Well, um, just so you know, I'm one of those rare streamers who encourages you to talk about other streamers or, or anything. Promote yourself. Promote other streamers. Whatever you like. I am, I'm all for it. I haven't signed up yet, but this is the beginnings of my, um, you guys have probably seen this before. This is the beginnings of my Hermaeus Mora. Uh, he's not done yet. He needs more eyes, but this is him so far. And of course, I'm working on the rest of this. You know, this is all the just the beginnings of it. I still have 26 out of 30. Um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the books yet and whatnot, but I'm assuming they're going to be floating around and doing all of that. Thank you. It's, it's, it's a start. It's a start. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, definitely. Um, you know, it's, you've got to support each other. You've got to be there for, and actually, you know, this community, this community, the housing community is really good about that. Um, they are much more okay with it than the average bear. Thank you. So I'll be working on it. It does, it doesn't have enough light underneath. I'll put a light there eventually, but lighting um man the, this chandelier isn't very bright but let's try it from underneath real quick wiggly broccoli hold on oh that's good that might be enough light and then we'll just have things like whipping around and flying around and whatnot no effects or anything this is all just I didn't know that the that this little snot guy had those effects coming out from him of the yellow stuff. I thought that was like I never knew that that was part of the of the dummy, but it is. That's part of it. All right, so those are the two things I'm working on right now. Yeah. You can put stuff under the floor. That's how a lot of us do our lighting subtly. Um we'll put it under the floor and we won't that way you don't um it does, you don't see it. You just see the effect of it. Yeah. That's how a lot of builders do some of the fanciest stuff you'll ever see is by hiding parts of it. Now, if I were going to be doing this with EHT, which for Loctavian's contest, I'm not going to. But if I were, I would want uh, to do this one. Hold on a second. I would do this. Ah! Not that. I would do this. Aelstrom Apocrypha. All right, I would be putting in these because they're like my favorite effect. This is the Maelstrom Apocrypha. So it's like spinning papers and whatnot. There you go. So I would do this if I was going to enter with effects. See? Oh! Oh! That sucks, I'm sorry. Oh, I know, his Lake Mire is ridiculous. I love it. But yeah, I would totally do this if it were allowed, but I don't think it's allowed in his contest, so I'm gonna have to remove it. I did! 
I swear I did. It even popped up. It says I'm live. Am I high? I could be high, but it shows it as shows me as if I'm live. Uh, let us check out a lake mire, dark faded. Uh, have you been on for a long time? Maybe it what doesn't show it for people who've been on. I don't know. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's an EHT. It's called um, Maelstrom Space Maelstrom Comma Apocrypha, and it's under animations. So there's that, and there's a whole bunch of like rainbow and other kind of halls. They're really neat. So if you want to use them for the pride contest, you can feel free. I mean, I think that would be a beautiful touch. So. Oh, did you? Hmm. I'm not sure. Oh, 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 that wasn't Cardi, believe it or not. This is Dark Made in 92. Um, that was actually a Architectura. Uh, Architectura uh, is not a very social human, although they are a very nice person. Oh, I hate you too. Give me your things. Um, but they wanted to give us a... Uh, a little bit of a pr present for showcasing their work so much and being patient with any errors or anything like that. So they actually added that without Cardi really knowing at first. And then Cardi, of course, approved it, but... Santuzzo! Hello! So this upper floor is mainly like storage and a bedroom and stuff like that. Usually the more graphical things are more... Uh, coming from Architectura. And then down here, this is $6.99 at $700. they have got, oh, that's a good place to put that. All right, and you've got a kitchen with Keldora. And then a dining area. And fishies, 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 fishies. It is. I like seeing when other people are streaming because I can pop in and say hello to them. I'm a big fan of housing streamers in general. Yeah, I've already seen some people I didn't know before. Um, I had only just heard of uh, Tyranne, so that's nice to see them added. Um, J Hart, Sami Sakura, um, obviously J Hart. Uh, which is nice. He's the OG, in case any of you were curious. He's the original gangster. He's the one who started um, my interest in touring. Oh, really? Wow. I didn't even know them. Wow. Impressed. I did not know that. I love the little um, black reachy feel to this with the glow plants. See, I'm just, uh, sometimes I just don't know people. Jodes, I only know of one um, that, oh, Dark brotherhood -y stuff. Let me, um, sure, sure, sure. Let me pull up the only picture of a Jodes that I know of that I, just one sec. I can find it pretty easily because I know where exactly where it is. <clears throat> Believe it or not, it's under vehicles. Because, here you go. This is uh, Levathi's Jodes. Can you see this? I hope you can. No, you cannot. Let me add it. Doop, doop, a doop, a doop. Window capture. That. This is Levathi's Jodes. This is the only Jodes that I have seen that was, I don't know how to explain it, like different. <laughs> uh, not many people have Jodes. Yes, and I'm, I'm a big fan of all of those people, so no problems there. 
That's no moo now. This is Lavathi on EU. If you're interested, this is her Joe's embrace. Um, she also has, you can only kind of see it, but she's got some little Indrik babies standing there. Indrik babies. And uh, it's just a beautiful thing. But that's the only one that I can really think of off the top of my head that I remember being. I looked for one yesterday to see if we could tour it, but there's only one. Yes, it's a beautiful home, but unfortunately it's, it just isn't a popular home. I, I mean, there's problems with it. There's problems. Some people just don't know what to do with that section. Oh, hello. Oh, goodness. You're fine. Oh, don't think that you're not. Look. I don't judge. <laughs> Trust me, I don't judge. My my whole goal is positivity and and lifting other people up and making everybody feel good. Art is art. Art is for art's sake. And I think all of us our voice all of our voices are worthwhile. Even if it's you think someone else is better, but it doesn't matter. I just enjoy Yeah, I understand. I just enjoy seeing anybody's work. Look at that. You got the, the comet and the stuff up there. It's true. And you know what? You'll hear the same thing from other builders too. I mean, other streaming builders like Ari or Jay Hart or anybody else. None of us are mean. I can't think of a single housing streamer who is mean. Um, they're all very kind and supportive and that's interesting. These aren't showing flame. Is that how those normally look? Very weird. No, it isn't how they normally look. What is going on? Why do some of them have flames and some of them don't? And they're on, they're showing light. Oh, and now this one isn't working. That's just great. I broke it. The one that was working, I broke. Oh, sorry, dude. Something is up. I'm not sure what, but I, I, I've i seen this problem before with flames, and I'm not really sure why. Let's see if we have a Jodes uh, open right now. We'll do an open house look. Jode. I think there's only one. Punkichu. Let's go to Punkichu's then. Punkichu, yes. Maybe? I don't know. It's It shouldn't happen, though. I've seen it happen before. It's an issue. I don't know why they do that. I'm going to be a donut. Hold on a second. Let me find my donut. I'm a donut. You got to be a donut. Every day. Every other day. Oh, really? Well, I have been experiencing lag, so it wouldn't entirely surprise me if it was on my end. Would not at all. Have you guys been doing the elsewhere stuff? I haven't done my dailies today, but I wasn't going to do them. I was going to look at housing. No, don't eat me. You know, like Lord Dwen, he's always threatening to eat me. I'm like, you cannot eat me. So, see, look, somebody already tried. I have a big old chunk out of my head. All right, so this is Punkichu's, the only open house, uh, Jodes right now. So, whoop, it's nice to be able, thank you, Punkichu, for posting this, because it's nice to be able to see someone having decorated it. So, we've got all these pretty little, um, sand thing is going on. Also, I don't know if it's here yet, but there is a dragon that circles right here. Um, it goes right over the house. I may have missed it. Oh, it's beautiful. Northern especially is stunning, but there's a, there's usually a uh, dragon that flies over. You can see its shadow. So if it comes over, I'll look up. 
but you got some fishing over here. That's an effect. What you see there with the sparkles, those are um, Magic Rising, I think that's the name of it. So, it's just all these beautiful things. Uh, that is also an effect that's Aether. They made the water this glowy Aether look. All the dragons, yeah. You know, you could be right. And then they added this little walkway across because this isn't normally here. I really like the colors of the Aether they picked. And then back here, somebody, somebody is praying to the three. Yes, the effects are from Adams. Uh, you have to both have them. Slenderman shadow in the fountain. I don't know. Let me see. I just turned off the effects just in case, and then we'll go back to the fountain. Yeah, you saw a slender man sticking here, but uh, I'm not sure what that's all about. But that could be a. It's a, the th the name of that one is guard. It's like supposed to be a guard that you can't really see. So either it's slender man or it's a guard. Just keeping guard over things. Yeah, that is spoopy. And you have a good eye. Very good eye, because I didn't catch that. So, thank you. Um, I don't like missing things that people have intentionally put in their home. But look at how beautiful all of this is. It's really lovely. But let's go inside. Eventually, we're going to have to check out the the planet so the planet's all the way through to the end ah. all right so here we go interesting i'm not sure what that's all about in here some sort of reed floor mat i guess this is a skooma den portion oh here's another scary guy spooky I almost want to say that I picture little kids. Oh, I'm sorry. I always picture little kids playing in the sand with these little, with the little statuettes. And then they created this. Okay, I'll close what I can. See if I can. <laughs> I'll try to close what I can to see if I can make it less, uh, choppy. Give me a moment. I'm trying to de-choppify. <laughs> oh crap. It could be just Twitch. Hold on a second. I unfortunately touched the... I started Discord again when I was trying to close it. Because I'm just so smart. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do about it here. La -la! Hold on. Discord is being stupid. Discord's being stupid. There we go. All right. And then somebody's library is flying all around. Look at that. Some magical library beast. Yeah, well, seriously, you're, you, you have to go pretty far in order to get to ESO servers. So, yeah, I can see it. But it's not always something I can do anything about. Sometimes it is, but not always. Go to sleep, you silly. Hello, Balin. You can go to sleep and still, if you win, I will send you monies. Well, if you're on PC. 
which I can't remember if that was you who said you were on Stadia or not. So they have weapons up. If I remember correctly, Punkichu didn't decorate the planet. Um, we'll see. Oh, they did. Okay. We've got a battle. Da -da. Who will win? My money's on Calbronted. He's pretty much the strongest one there, I think. Yep, well, you know, you're preaching to the choir over here. Um, I have been begging them, here's the planet, just in case you've never seen it. Um, ah, gotcha. Well, I should be able, thank you, Rodizio. I want to say I just looked at one of your houses the other day. It was, like, mind-blowingly good. Okay. Have fun. So, in case you haven't... Oh, it's always a nice day for a potato. I often point out, Judah, I often point out fire hazards. But just remember, it's a fantasy. It's the same thing with, um with my character my character does not poop that's why you'll never see any um you'll never see any kind of bathrooms in my homes let me see what i looked at of yours recently rhodesia because i know i did was it your palatine maybe it was your palatine Huh. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see if we can look a at a lucky cat, too, because um, since that's for sale, we can take a good look at it. And for those of you who don't, like, have it yet, you can consider whether or not you want it. So let's go to Sir Rever Blight's Dragon Grounds. <laughs> I know, I've heard that before. Baby, I want to know how they fill your donut hole. <laughs> no, I've been missing you, Storm Raven. I've been wondering where you are. Balja! Are you Balja? Sorry, I didn't mean to make my sound crack. We have Balin and Balja. Oh, no, 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 you're fine. I'm just saying to remember that it's uh, a fantasy and that my character doesn't poop. I mean, that's really all that is. Because, <laughs> like, that's important for me to point out. All right. I will wear a bunny head for a little while. Okay, so this is... Oh, it's not full. I don't think they finished this one. But it, this is, of course, Lucky Cat. But I want to point something out for you about Lucky Cat. Lucky Cat is amazing. Oh, let me write that down. Okay. Cold Harbor. Alpine. Bodge. 2372. Okay. I may not be able to do it now uh, because I'm doing this stuff on NA, but I will definitely check them out. And then I always index everything and put up what's out there. Um, for people to see. Let me show you something interesting about Lucky Cat, in case you didn't know. You can build out really far with Lucky Cat, but you can also build down really far and build up really far. There's a lot of extra space that you can use which doesn't have any invisible ceilings. To the point where, you see that where that um, edge of that patio is? You can build up to right next to that patio. That's how far out you can build if you want to. So it's a it's a very interesting house in that you can ignore the, the house if you like, like this person's done. And you can just only work on the outside. It's an option. I do like the house a lot, but 
Um, let's see what else we got. Did we do J-Hole stuff? No, let's go to their snug. It's a great house, um, but I don't, I have enough houses as it is that I haven't finished. I'm ridiculous that I kind of want to catch up with all of the stuff I have. You may have. That house isn't done yet, so I'd be happy to come back to it. Hello, Tagari. Um, did you get my mail about how to do it? And let me give you a shout out. Ah, crap. Wrong one. My bad. Okay, so this is Jehoel's snug. They have a very... 200 out of 200. I never would have guessed. They blocked off everything. Yeah, I can... Oh, shit. Maldurin, you know I always forget. I'm sorry. We will do yours, and then we'll do Night Raven. My bad. So, there's... This is a meat shop, which makes perfect sense for, um... This meat shop makes perfect sense for Valenwood. But they have a sneaky. Look at this sneaky sneaky! We're up on the second floor. And this is where they do their butchering. Sorry, I'm getting caught in the in the hedges here. This is amazing how much the- ah! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. This is quite the sneaky. Oh no! No! Okay, we'll go next. All right, let's do a search. Aldrin's. Open thingies. Let's go to your... Uh... Shit. Lake Mara. Suspicious meat it is. Namir is hanging out. Oh, that name? Arctic Elysium. Okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. My bad. I didn't know you did those. That's cool. All right. Isn't that funny? It's a funny house. Gotta give me a second for my brain to catch up. Hey, excuse me. Arctic Elysium. Like my. I hope I spelled this right. Yes. Yay! Well, I'm. I mean, unless you like Haas and Pepper. Because bunnies are. Bunnies are edible. Maybe not in a good way, but they're edible. I can be a cow. That's okay. I chew my cud. <laughs> Have some beef. Well, that's good. How you doing, excuse me? I have not seen you. I hope you're okay. So, this is, obviously, like Meyer, we looked at one of these before. Your flame thingers are working. Oh, you don't want a cow? All right, you don't get a cow then. I'll be train. Ah. Oh, gotcha. But your lights are working. I don't know why the other house did not have working lights. It's annoying. Your flames are doing fine. Maybe I was just hitting some lag. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah, they're stupid big. They really are stupid big. Sorry about that. It's not really... Yeah, it's not really accurate, is it? <laughs> I'll be a burrito then. <laughs> so it's less creepy. Yeah, I don't want to relog. <laughs> I'm lazy. <laughs> Up we go. Oh, lots of pillows. This looks like a very comfy little area. I'm, my, my middle name is distracted, I'm fairly sure. Oh, that's okay. I like being random things. 
the main hall. Okay. No problem. So, library. We've got the things you would need. And then you've got, obviously, an outfit station, which actually has really good lighting. Because I don't know if you are aware, but look at that lighting. Lighting for um, dye stations mean a lot because you can't otherwise necessarily see the proper hello um, colors. And you don't want to mess up just based on the fact that you can't see the right color. So that's important. The burrito is wonderful, yes. I am very edible today. So the floor has be re been reskinned with Daedric, I think Daedric? No, volcanic plugs. Those are pretty affordable too. So if you want to fight the snot, the snot is right here. Uh, it is also a dummy, but it's hiding from you. And then over here, crafting tables and the stuff that would be relative to that crafting table, which is another thing. Like if you are just starting out and you don't really know what to do with your house, um, getting, getting a crafting house together is a really good idea. It's a first step. It's a nice one. So I'm guessing that, um, Arctic likes to fight. Okay. See you later, piano. Um, Arctic likes to fight this one, I'm guessing. No, it's, it's actually redone. The real floor looks more like what's under here. See it? More like, actually, I'm not even sure. That's a replacement too. Let me find the real floor. Uh, actually, there's not much of it showing. It's hard for me to even show it to you. Um, but it's got like dips in it. I had been told at one point, and I'm not saying that this is true because I know nothing, uh, is that each trial dummy has a little bit of a specific usage that you should use some for something and, oh, look at that. That's really pretty. That's a good idea for sealing stuff too. For myself. And then we have nice cabinetry. Look at that cabinet work. And then down here we have, oh no! The dummy, you can't get to that one. So why, the other ones I had been told were good for different types of parsing or for different kinds of characters. See, I know nothing about this. There's a reason why I'm the streaming potato. I mean, maybe that's the way it used to be, but then they brought in um, all of this new stuff. And then you've got a lady. Is that a lady tree? No. All right, I'm gonna swim outside if I can. No, I can't. Thuthuth is blocking me. Mr. Thuthuth. All right, go out. Oh no, crap. Um, your guildy friend here needs to change his permissions, like, immediately. Naldurin. Just a, a heads up. Tell Arctic to change their permissions. Okay. Yeah, it's true. Ah! Gotcha. All right. Uh, and outside is gardening, like you mentioned, but it's actually quite pretty. I know you kind of were focused on the middle of the house, which is nice. I like what you did out here too, though. And then there's a little pathway out there. We'll go to it, don't worry. I like that you made it feel like a park with these chairs here every so often. Okay, thank you. I mean, I'm not the kind of person who would ever cause any problems like that, but you know. There's always someone on the forums. Recently, a, a, somebody posted to the forums that their ex-girlfriend logged into their stuff and destroyed everything. K-Pow! <laughs> I'm not K-Pow. She's much, way more awesome than me. 
<laughs> I like it too. That was exactly my point, Empty Emma. I think it's really pretty. She has better makeup than me too. Ah, ah, ah. And then this is almost like a, it really feels like a park, Maldoran. I really like it. It's good job. Can I get up there? No. Oh, don't compare. We can like, you can like them both. Well, but I thank you. She is great. She's a, a super sweet human. Uh, I like her a lot. And she's silly and she has so much energy. Okay. Well, thank you for showing it to me. Uh, let us do Night Ravens before I forget, because I will, in fact, for I forget. Uh, I am made of forgetting. Uh, Amaya, right? Let us roll. There's something that it says, Dunmargonian home. No worries. I don't understand either, Nordenheim. I've asked her that. She says it's totally natural and that she even has that off stream. She's amazing. Like, I don't know where she gets it from, but she's amazing. Um, I am a big fan. Um, she's just, she's pretty, she's smart, she's funny. She's got it all. She's really a great person. Now I'm very pretty with uh, myself. <laughs> it's fake, but I've, I've made myself pretty. All right, let me read this. Raised by Argonians after having been abandoned as a child <laughs> in the Black Marsh, this Dunmer finds comfort in blending his love of the Argonian style with more traditional Dunmeri elements in his home. Uh, I made it forgetting, yes. Oh, oh, she's great. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, you silly. Uh, so a little background on Night Raven. Night Raven does a lot of builds. Um, mainly they do, oh, good your baby. Um, they do a lot of RP builds. So it, a lot of times what you're looking at is something that is going to be used by an RP guild or is just a story that, uh, that, that he's created in his mind and there's stuff to it. <clears throat> this is like a very romantic spot. Oh, that's precious. That's so cute. Oh my God, what a great idea. I've never seen anyone do that before. That's a crown item, unfortunately, that one, the hanging pitcher, but that looks great. That looks like it so belongs. Perfection. Boink. Yeah, it is. It's super cute. Ah, baby guar. Actually, is that the guar or is that? Oh yeah, that's guar. It's a pretty sitting spot, but it's also like really smart. Yes, thank you for doing that, Melder. I had forgot. We loved Six Alaric over here. Also, should you have a guild <laughs> you can be a mod, yeah. I don't really have any need for a mod because nobody's ever bad. If you have a guild, a stream, a company, um, business, anything of your own that you'd like to promote, feel free to go to my Discord. I have a self-promotion channel and I highly encourage people to use it. I've found out about a lot of things through it and uh, it is worthwhile. I've gotten a lot of viewers out of other people's um, promotional channel, so feel free to use it. Make use of it as a resource. And then look at this very nicely all set up in your kitchen. I will steal some bread. Did you put a fire in there? Yeah, you did. Okay, thank you, Katie. All right, I'll catch you later. Yeah, I understand. That's awesome. 
I am very support. I wish that more people linked their RP sessions. Like, it, I guess some of them are very personal, but I don't see often see people linking videos to edited or non-edited RP sessions. I think there's something to be said. Have you ever walked in on one? I have. Not ERP, because those those make me run scared. But occasionally, I'll be questing, and they'll be out in some random part of the world, and they're actually having like a full-on, you know, meeting or something. Like they're in a castle, they're in the let's say st Stormhold, not Stormhold, Stormhaven Castle, and you're there doing something else. This is very Dunmary, and if you walk in on it, it can be really, really interesting uh, to watch them do it. All right, up here is an additional floor. This is not normally here in this house. What Night Raven's done is they've they've added all these floors. They've added the library up on the second floor. A lot of people do this because there's a ton of wasted space right here uh, in this part of the room. Look at that ceiling. That's all wasted. I have walked in on house RP, but I usually run away. Um, I get scared when I do, um, because I feel like I'm ruining whatever their scene is, so I run away. If I find them in open world, um, I don't leave, I just stand there and watch because it's interesting. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. It is really cool. Oh, and here's our bank, and Az Azabi is hoarding the riches. Well, once you get in, once you get into the house, it tells you. But it can't really do it ahead of time. If it could, that would be great. And here's the second floor. In If this was in the real world, I would be popping every single chest. <laughs> well, certainly Riften is. This is great. Riften definitely is. Mm-hmm. Uh, same here, same here. I leave them alone because I figure they... They don't want me bugging them. So this is fun. So this whole theme, and we have other ones to look at at Night Ravens in, in future days, but to, this is just a Dunmergonian home. And I think it's a really nice mix. Okay. Yes. Speaking of RP, we can look for an RP home real quick. Oh, where's Night Ravens? Did I? Undo do it? Yeah. All right. So let's let's do this. So open houses, I don't know if you know, in the new version, you can just pull down what kind of theme you want to look at. And RP is a perfect example. Um, although here, activity role play. So we have a bunch of them that are open and available for people to role play in. Meaning if you want to role play in Idiot Tech's Saffron Dunes, you're welcome to. You don't have to ask. That's what it's opened for. That is the purpose. I know, right? That is the purpose of these homes, is for them to do RP, but it's also open for you to do RP if you want to. So if you find that this fits your needs, I know somebody on uh, EU who opens tons of homes. All of them are inns of different kinds, like shabby inn, um, regular in, rich in, you know, different situations uh, than it might call for. So, Idiot Tech, uh, Saffron Dunes. Yeah, there's a lot I haven't seen yet. Oh my goodness, this is Antiquarian? Holy schmoly. Oh no, what is going on? What have you done? Hello, all sorts of shops. Oh my goodness, okay. And it led us right into the house. What a transformation and We've got a Phaedra's Lost. There's some gambling going on. There's an aquarium. 
I do like this. Yes, yes. Which is nice. I think people would be touched if someone let them know, hey, I would like to use your... Yes, or a, a Bandari mat or whatever. This is crazy. It's good. So what I like about this and gives me ideas is they use the curved elsewhere walls, which would really help with my ceiling problem. And then in here, we've got another little rounded room. This closes off most of the, what most people use as the kitchen area. And then this second piece here would lead to next to the door. So here they have, look at how RPE this is with, uh, you could make this be a lot of different things. Like these are the people they're after, you know, these are people who are dangerous criminals, etc. And here's the skooma section. Get me an ale kill, Dora. It's like a, a seedy underside of the world kind of thing. Is there a sneaky? There may be a sneaky. No sneaky. So this is the whole thing. 600 out of 600 and understandably very full with all of this clutter and redo. N the maps? Knives? Or let me see. They had the knives for the heads. Where are the maps? Did I miss them? Brains. Oh, there, there, there. Um, more knives. Yep, knives. So just butcher knives. Huge. Okay. So that's a role play house. Gives you an idea of what I was talking about. Yes. Well, if you want to see one that is mind blowingly different, I always show this, but. Um... Okay, see you later. If this is the one I'm thinking of. Thanks for the help, Maldrin, and thanks for helping with the raid. Much appreciated. Every count, every single follow counts, and you gave me a bunch, so thank you. I will be a cow cat. All right, you guys, prepare to be mind blown as long as she's still... If I don't have these confused, um, Sea of Stars is a, pri is a Zoss Award winning uh, contest winner. She's amazing. And she's a really tremendously good person. But she's also scary talented. Um, check this out. This isn't also antiquarians. We got these slender little walls. Walking by everything up and down. This may be one of my favorite homes. Oh, great. Thank you. And then here we go. She has created an entire village with shops and people walking through and castles and it's just amazing. I, I fell in love with this house and I wish I had created it. There's a bookstore here. And then if you go upstairs, I know it is, it's one of my favorite, if not my favorite. There's a little alchemy here. Now look through the window. You've got, you can see other things going on. So you've got Phaedra's walking around over there. She's so incredible. This, this builder is so incredible. It's just, it hurts. She's so good. And then over here, you can go into this store and this store is more of like, I think a toy store. I don't think you can go upstairs here, can you? Oh yeah, you can. All right, and then here's a little spot to sit and then look across and you can see other things. 
I am a cat with a cow hat. I mean, obviously. Speaking of. I mean, I'm that way with writing. Um, one of my husband, well, my husband's best friend is Pat Rothfuss, and it's so annoying, like, not being able to create a world on your own. But it's a kind of amazing that, um, what he's able to do. And I wish I could do it, but uh, this is just the way out. But there's this little doorway. Actually, I was wrong. This is another whole room. So, I get jealous all the time. All the time. I think Asian bills are, are some of the hardest to do. Because I don't know anything about it. So I can't imagine. Yeah, she's incredible. Yeah, this is Sea of Stars uh, N.A. Antiquarian. She also has something in her EU Antiquarian. It's a, uh, it's a theater. She's amazing, that's how. It's Globe Theater Swankery. She put uh, a replica, an exact replica of the Globe Theater, you know, the, um, the Shakespearean theater. She built a replica of that in her house on EU. So check this out. Yeah, right? Isn't it incredible? And then you can just sit here and paint. And then across the way is a little restaurant. And then up there is the castle, which you can't get to. It's really just for looking at because obviously slots. Uh, and then because she used lights, you see the indoor lights she set in as windows, they glow at night. So you can actually see the windows at night as if someone is in the house. She's, I mean, I, I think this is one of the best houses I've ever seen, if not the best. It makes me, it, towns are my favorite. Towns are always my favorite houses. Um, uh, I like doing them myself. <clears throat> I'm not good at it, but I like doing them. So there you go. I just thought I'd give you guys a, a little bit of something special. She's quite talented, yes. All right. Ow. Okay. Let's do C jacks. Wait, unlisted? Oh, I won't do that then. They may have unlisted it. Okay, I'll at the Lodrix Twin Arches. I just need one second to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Kitty's back. Kitty is back. Back again. Sammy's back. Tell a friend. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm not anything like that, though. Sea of Stars is a whole other level. An amazing level. Uh, Alpha, Ethologix, Helen Stand. Okay. We've got the Twin Artis. Ethologix has been doing a lot of homes lately posting a whole bunch of them and I'm always very appreciative of the amount. Look at the needle fox with the ball. It's cute. I used to be much more prolific than I am now. Um, but that's because I've had a complete brain 
like, <laughs> what do you call it? Writer's block brain for months. But I used to be able to just whip them out whenever J Hart had a contest, I used to be able to just do it. I entered like every single one he had for a while. And then I burnt out. It's not that I ran out of ideas or anything. Um, this is a good starter cast, by the way. If you're new to building, it's it's small. You can fill it all. Thank you so much, burnt out. Uh, speaking of burnt out, um, you can fit a lot in here and makes it look full. So very interesting. Okay. I'm, I'm burning hot here. All right, shrine to her scene, Moonmirth. Boiling hot. So I haven't done my, my dailies, but everything else is done. Well, that wasn't a problem for me because I'm a, I'm a sales nerd. It wasn't really the money so much as it was. Besides, I also do. Most of my builds weren't that expensive. Because the thing with J-Hart is that he has such specific type housing stuff. Like for example, he, his goal is to um, have little bite-sized pieces. So, shrine to her scene, okay. Um, it didn't, it doesn't cost very much with his. I've actually moved almost all of his builds into one house because that's how small each of his builds are usually. He doesn't tend to do a whole house. So here's a shrine to her scene. We got some bloody meats and stuff. I'll show you. I got a bunch of quickies in one room. And then uh, the wolf head. And I know that um, Night Raven did a shrine to her scene that had all of the different references, but I don't remember them. But it's kind of amazing that this is a moon mirth, which is a single room that you just walk into. And here you go. It's, it's completely transformed. All right, let me show you my, um, this is my collection O other builds. I don't like Ebonheart because I don't, for my own builds, because um, Raven, you won. I always forget if you're NA or EU, you won yesterday. I went, I forgot to announce it, but it was you. I remember your 2111. But I can't remember if you're NA or EU. I think you're NA. Um, okay. So this is my mini, my build of stuff for J Hart. This was my chocolate box for him doing a, he did a, some sort of Valentine's Day contest. And so I think this was me doing a chocolate box for that. And then, ah, okay. You did. Yeah, okay, you are on this NA. Congrats. You won 100K from yesterday. All right. And then we have lots of other builds in here. Uh, this was my, <laughs> this one's funny to me. Every time I see it, it cracks me up because this was my fireplace built. I decided to be silly and I did a whole water place instead of a fireplace because I'm a goofball. Um, somewhere around here is, this is a flower. He wanted us to make flowers out of objects, so I made that. Kind of hard to see, but that's my flower. It was like a marigold. Oh, you're welcome. Those are mushrooms. Those are mushrooms. Um, hold on, let me tell you which mushroom it is. It's sh tall chanterelle mushrooms. And then over here is my uh, potato build, Mr. Potato Head. That's Mr. Potato Head. 
And then over here is my slide. I have a water slide over here that I'm not currently using, so I stuck it over here. And then inside, I, oh, this was a cake I made for a cake contest. It looks better from the front. Anything that I don't want to get rid of, but isn't a whole so like house build worth. And then this was my clown who is terrifying and everybody, thank you. Everybody laughs at it because it's so terrifying. It's totally terrifying. That was the goal is to make a clown, but it ended up becoming scary. Uh, these are all uh, J heart builds, tiny little J heart builds, you know? It's evil. I think it scared the hell out of J-Heart. Um, then there's um, two others. That's okay. <laughs> I understand. Uh, there's two others in here, and then, then we'll keep on going. I usually just stream for two hours, so... Um, at most. Because of my illnesses, it's hard for me to keep going beyond that. So if you want to tune in to me regularly, if you feel like it, I'm 11 a.m. to usually uh, 1 p.m. every single day, seven days a week, I try to do. Oh, there's three bills in this, I forgot. This one was for a car, a flower arrangement build, guild, build um, that he asked for, so I made a little cart. And then there's two others. This was my spaceship. That was Sea of Stars. This was my kitty spaceship, which I'm still very proud of. And then this was my uh, fire entry. It was a phoenix. That is a phoenix. Which looks better at night. And that's that. Oh, and I put my cats up on the mountain over there. So those are my little builds. I tend to spread them around a little bit. Then I have bigger builds, but those are my little ones. And this is the rainbow bridge. Thank you. And then this is, yeah, this whole thing is a rainbow bridge for my kitty who passed. And it's meant to be a place that you stop and you think about the, your loved animals and what they meant to you. And after they changed their policy regarding um, out of sales, out of season, like when something's not for sale, I contacted them and they said, look, my cat passed away, I'm trying to do a shrine. Would you mind if you sold me the cat ghost? And they did, and they didn't give me any trouble with it. They're like, oh, we're so sorry, here you go. Thank you. And there you go. It's not perfect, but nothing ever is. Um, let's see. Make sure you enter exclamation point potato PCNA PCEU. I'm giving away 100K, so make sure you enter it. Well, I mean, they gave it to me, so maybe they'll give it to you if you're building a shrine for it. You know, that's what I told them. I'm like, I'm building a shrine. I need the ghost cat. I'd rather not wait a year to get it, but, you know. This didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to, but it's not bad. It's something. Um, let's look at one more house. Let me do something kind of smallish. What was that exercise? We did one of his.
Ellison's uh, Lewin Inn. You know, it's a good way of working through grief sometimes, or other emotions, things that bother you. Um, if you, it does help, I find, to put the feelings um, in a more manageable way, because you're literally putting it in objects and kind of creating something with it. So this cutie is a. Yeah. Well, usually they say no, but if you have a good reason for it, they'll give, they usually do say yes. Um, and then this is just a cozy little cute pilgrim's rest with 20 out of 30 items. You still have 10, 10 item slots left, but I like it even the way it is. All right. So let's, let's, uh, get ready to pull the contest. Just give me a moment. Oh, let me show you something. I'll change my, my screen real quick so you can see this. Hold on. Um, that's my, my Grant's paw print. When he uh, passed, I had them make a um, impression. So I, that's always in front of me for the same reasons. I don't like this. I put that on. It's creepy, but whatever. All right, so Bethesda is currently streaming World Plays ESO, but I'm going to drop you off with Ninja614, who is a great human, and um, I like to support, so let's let's start the raid and then I'll pull the contest. Ninja614. Okay, that's started. And the winner is... Katie Bear! <laughs> okay! It's awesome! She went to bed, though, so I'll send it to her. Katie Bear! Yeah, it's it's hard, but what are you gonna do? All right, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful day! When you pay with Credit Karma money, you could win Instant Karma, which makes your purchase free. Got it for free with Instant Karma. And free feels good forever.